Okay, hi YouTube. Uh, we have some very spicy patch notes today, so let's dive right into it. Uh, champions, one cost. Nidalee, her spell attack speed got nerfed at all star levels. Dang. <laughs> uh, but they did buff her attack speed. I think previously it was only like a flat 45 or like 50%. Now it actually has star scaling, so there's that. Uh, Talia, spell damage, nerf at all star levels. Okay, first spicy patch note. Lee Sin is now a 2 cost. <laughs> um, yeah, they actually changed Lee Sin from a 3 cost to a 2 cost. Uh, his new uh, part of his ability is units hit by his ability now have their magic resist reduced by 40% for 5 seconds. His spell damage got significantly decreased because of that. But if we look at the description, Lee Sin will shred his target's MR before applying damage. This change keeps him neutral against low MR targets, but makes him stronger against high MR targets. So, that's sick. I mean, I would say the usual build was like crit Lee Sin, but now you don't have to run like Ionic Spark. So that's cool. Um, yeah. If they really change Lee Sin to a, from a 3 cost to a 2 cost, holy hell. Um, yeah, can't wait to see some, like, four Dragon Master reroll comps. I'm definitely gonna try to do that. Lux, uh, primary spell damage nerfed, her secondary spell damage got buffed. Yeah, so Lux has been really strong. Um, I keep trying to play, like, a reroll version, but it doesn't seem to work. I don't know. Actually, wait, no. Sorry, they didn't actually buff her secondary spell damage. They just straight up nerfed her secondary spell damage. My bad. Um... Yeah, no, she just got straight up nerfed because she's been really strong. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, I kept on trying to make Lux v roll work, but whenever I did, everyone, like, there's at least one other Lux player, so. Anyways, Rel, Spell Resist Grant, nerf. Uh, scaling is now displayed on the tooltip. Spell damage got buffed at 3 star. Okay, so she got nerfed. She's not as tanky. Uh, Zack, Spell Heal. Nerf at all star levels. Rengar, attack damage nerf, attack speed nerf. Rengar is, is still very strong. Uh, Seraphine, on attack spell damage, slight nerf at 2 stars, buff at 3 star. Okay. Uh, Namzi, spell targeting instead of the current target. Well, Namzi picks 2 random targets and fires at the one belonging to a larger clump. So, she has better targeting. So, that's great. Uh, but because of that, they have to nerf her spell damage. I still need to try Nomsi carry. This should hopefully make her better. Uh, Forecast. Graves. HP buff. Spell armor and MR. Nerf. Base AD. Buff. Damage per shot. Nerf. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like a buff or like a power neutral. I would say this is maybe more so power neutral. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, Psalm, spell base damage, buff at 1 star, spell burst damage, buff at 2 and 3 star. Okay. They kind of over nerf Psalm a little bit, so. Bring that back up. Jace, first cast spell damage, buff at 1 and 2 star. Second cast spell damage, buff at 1 and 2 star. His shield amount, it didn't scale with AP before. But now it does properly, or not, not properly, but his shield amount does now scale with AP, so they have to, they have to bring that down a little bit. Uh, his post transform spell has a different VFX from than the first cast. So, I would say, just got, under, got a buff. So that's pretty good. Vicos, Terra, mana, starting and total mana uh, decrease, so Terra will cast a little bit more often. That's pretty good. Terra's probably like already an absolute menace. Uh, Astro for uh, traits. Astro increase the amount of star levels needed to get their higher quality Astro orbs. Um, uh, I made a video yesterday. Yesterday's patch notes. I started with how Astro works, and they kind of just nerfed that. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't. We don't know how much. You probably have to do some testing, but yeah. 
Anyways. Hyper Roll for Astro. Astro Orbs no longer grant double rewards in Hyper Roll. Holy. Uh, Dark Flight. Bonus HP nerf at 3... No. 4 and 6. Dark Flight. Yeah. Okay. Dark Flight is really strong. If you can figure out a comp... Um, you know, using this trait. Because... Even though you're sacrificing a champion, giving like four or like three of your champions like almost and like a war marks is freaking nuts. So, Guardian Shield HP percentage buff at six and eight. I don't see anyone running six Guardian or eight Guardian, so okay. <laughs> Guild, Jace AD and AP bonus, nerfed by 1. Zippy resist bonus, nerfed by 2. So that's fine. Uh, Guild is pretty strong. Tempest. Ah, this is the second one. Second spicy one. They, re they slightly rework Tempest. The lightning strike now grants increased damage to Tempest champions instead of attack speed. So instead of giving it attack speed, you now get, you know, get damage amplification. So at 2 Tempest, you get 10%. 420, 640, and 860. So now you just do a crap ton more damage. Um, I think, yeah. So that's sick. Um, yeah, I think that's actually pretty sick. I think attack speed isn't like, what's it called? Attack speed wasn't too bad, but it was mainly helpful for just like Al Shin so that he can cast faster. <laughs> Um, it didn't really help out, and like, I guess it kind of helped Ezreal, but it's like, for Kiana and Lee Sin, who are melee champs, it's like, does attack speed matter that much when they're already getting killed really fast, because they're melee units? Uh, not so much. And I guess Graves. Anyways, um, but Graves is a, wait, Graves is a main champion. I digress. Anyways, uh, items! Radiant Bramble Vest, more bonus armor. Radiant Banshee's Claw, team bonus HP got buff. Cool. Uh, bug fixes. Yasuo will no longer continue to cast post combat if he reaches full mana from Radiant Blue Buff or other mana sources. Fix the bug where scale scoring was sometimes not reactivate after removing all dragons from the board. This bug came back, I guess. Fix the bug where the Lagoon cast count will increase from Lagoon units that cast after combat finishes. So I guess it's like if you have Cybernetic Uplink. And then they keep casting. <laughs> it's like, oh, you just keep getting free, uh, free lagoon casts. Uh, Pantheon's tool to now properly shows his percent of eight attack damage scaling. Uh, and hyper roll tactician health bars now display their health ticks. Scale score and heart crest and crown can now be offered again. I guess it was never showing up. Nyla now properly resets on kill. That's probably pretty big. That's a pretty big buff. Nihilus Tooltip now correctly states she resets if the target was shielded, not remains. Uh, Shimmer Scale so, so now properly grants a Volibear. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I had a person in the game just like not get a Volibear from Shimmer Scale, so I'm like, oh, oh, well, that's not good. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Some, fr I don't know. Seeing the least, the seeing Lee Sin go from a three cost to a two cost, and they change Tempest. I am very interested to see some people, um, some new Tempest slash maybe like Dragon Master Lee Sin builds or stuff like that. So yeah, should be interesting. I am looking forward to playing um, during the patch. That should do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.